There's no reason to talk. I'm not going to keep wasting my time and my talents. And after six minutes, eight minutes, whatever, it shuts down. It shuts down again. You just spill the pill. <laughs> okay, I'm going to upload this one. <laughs> I'm going to upload. <laughs> you deserve it. You, you can't hide anymore. You can't hide in the cult. Now, I'm going to record this one, and you won't be able to... No, don't give me the finger again. <laughs> my missionary wife, there she is, giving the finger... No, don't try to rub my neck. That don't, that don't mean shit. No, you're you're recording now. Your, no, first, no. your first YouTube... <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, if I die, can you just drag me out of here, throw me down the staircase? No, you're too heavy, man. I'm too what? Heavy. Too heavy. You want me to just rot in here, then? Just go, like, walk in the Montori. <laughs> okay, do you want to be in on my first video? <laughs> That's not an answer. No. <laughs> Like, I Why are you here then? Okay, just try it. If in case it works. If it works, I have to record it. I've tried it four times. Just, just do it two minutes, and then oh, this is only testing. And I love you guys. <laughs> Last time it made it eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just. Be I have had a long day. Yes. I have had a long day. Maybe the YouTube has something wrong on it. Yeah. No, no, it's not YouTube. It's Allison. <laughs> it's our child. But at least do not touch anything. I don't want a turbo gun there, please. All right. The turbo touch is important. Okay. This is Sir David the Bard, the ass hat, according to Mormons. Uh, you know. <laughs> This is going to put me back in a mental institution. I've been up here for two and a half hours trying to fix what Allison has broken. The first thing is I did my recording program and I noticed my microphone wasn't even on the table halfway through the video. So I go looking for my microphone and it's buried behind my desk wound up in all the wires and disappeared. So I'm fat ass, bent over the desk, trying to pull the microphone out, and I'm screaming, Allison, Allison. So finally she comes up, and I said, could you get that out of there for me? And I'm sitting here at the table, and suddenly I see my microphone raising from the dead. <laughs> She's so funny. And I get it. And so I said to her, you know, you're in trouble, as usual. She says, well, Dad, I wasn't out of trouble for the first one. I go, I know, you've got double trouble now. <laughs> so anyway, we came home, and, and um, I don't know what the hell she did. You know, hot hands Alice, and she stole something from her mother's uh, jewelry box. We have got locks everywhere. We've got them on doors. We've got them on vanity cabinets. We have them on chest of drawers. <laughs> we have it on my door, up. We have, and a safe because of Allison. I mean, the kid can pick a lock. The kid really, you know, she picked uh, the front door or the bathroom door. The, well, she takes a, a pen apart, and, and the tube inside the pen fits exactly in the hole. So if you're going poo-poo, she can put the, the pen in, turn the handle, and go, Hi, Dad. Are you going poo-poo? I go, Get out of here. So, you know, she's, she's smart. So I finally said to her, Go sit in the office. That's your punishment. Go sit, and I knew putting her in my office was going to punish me, and it has. <laughs> it has... So it was a few, an hour or so before lunch, and she sat in here for about 10 minutes, and then she goes, Dad, can I go down and get something to eat? And I said, no, you're in the Filipino prison. There's no food. <laughs> so about four seconds later, she says, well, you might as well kill me because I'm just going to starve to death anyway. <laughs> I Don't tempt me. <laughs> don't tempt me. Oh, God. I come in to do my video, and you saw me do a six-second video. Now, it pisses me off that a lot of you said that's one of the best ones I've done. <laughs> you bastards. So anyway, I start doing the videos. And sure enough, I get two minutes in, five minutes in, eight minutes in, and it says, <laughs> you're a big mistake. <laughs> that's what my mother used to say to me, and I go off and I lose the YouTube. Now, it's hard to be funny three or four times. 
<laughs> but being bipolar, I just remember what I said, and it's funny again. So I'm hoping this one actually will go up, and it'll be longer than six seconds. Now, <laughs> here is the report that I have given over and over again. I appreciate the young uh, lady that sent in the donation. I'll update my uh, YouTube uh, main page of the new caribou there with your donation. And when we're still buying rice and, and uh, food and, and things for the kids in the Philippines. And this month, I'm hoping to buy, uh, with your permission, <clears throat> some education. Uh, I think 60 to 100 pesos, which is uh, $2, uh, can put a child in a Filipino public school for about... Uh, uh, a year. So anyway, we may have to buy a few clothes so they can actually walk over there and not look stupid. And uh, so anyway, if you want to keep sending your money, send it. The kids love it. And I'm proud that, that you're willing to do it. I put my few daughters in, Allison and Abigail, they put their few in here and there. So if you want to keep doing that, please do. Now here's what I want to talk about. Someone said, would you do a report on the recovery Mormonism um, information. Well, I had that last night, and I've been trying to report it, and the Danites just keep chasing me around the room, and I think Allison has been <laughs> recruited as a Dan Dan Danite. I, I, you know, half the time, I can't do a video if I let her use my computer. She downloads <laughs> everything. So anyway, here's what I want to report on. The Mormon Church now has a pamphlet started out, uh, for those that are cleaning the chapel. Now this started off as a volunteer program and my dentist um, was in charge of his ward and I asked him, I said, how's, how's the volunteerism going? And he says, well I'm in charge and, and every Saturday I have to get a group together and uh, clean the toilets. <laughs> I said, well, how's it going my friends? And he goes, it ain't. <laughs> I said, the Mormons find other things to do on Saturday so they don't have to clean the toilets. And he says, you bet they do. And I said, well, now listen, uh, you know, you're doing a little work on my mouth here this morning. <laughs> Did you wash your hands <laughs> before you came to work today? <laughs> I don't want poo-poo hands in my mouth. <laughs> he goes, yes, yes. I said, well, it's going to hurt your reputation. If everybody knows you're cleaning toilets <laughs> as a part-time job <laughs> for the Mormons, Who's going to want to come to you as a dentist? And he said, well, you have a point there. So anyway, anyway, now I have seen the video reports of the Mormon church telling you to clean your damn chapels. I'm not making this up. I didn't just see it on the Internet. I'm telling you, it's on church video. This is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Well, there's, there's three or four guys that are bearing their testimony of how many blessings you're going to get with your head in a urinal. <laughs> so I noticed all the guys were groomed immaculately. They had their tie on and their shirt. And there's something that says, you're using too much power. Well, screw you. Okay, the power went off. So they have their shirts and their ties on, and they have their elderly voice. This is a revelation from Jesus. He wants you to clean your toilets. They're your toilets. You go to that ward house. It's your poo-poo. <laughs> I'm listening to these guys. Now, they're breaking away to people that the church has photographed cleaning the chapel. Now, here it goes, folks. I told you I'm bipolar. I see the world very differently than most human beings do. So I see all of these kids and mothers, and, and well, mostly kids and mothers, cleaning the windows and scrubbing the floors with toothbrushes. It looks like the military, uh, you know, punishment. Anyway, these guys are saying, take your children. It will teach them to serve the Lord. <laughs> Good God. If that ain't a damn cult, I don't know what is. You got these four and five year old kids wiping the urinals <laughs> and the dad going, Johnny, you're five years old. You need some experience with Jesus. Get in on that toilet. Someone crapped all over in there. <laughs> so anyway, all of these guys that were saying how much of a testimony you're gonna get were white <laughs> and delightsome <laughs> with Ties. And oh my God, they're burying their testimony and burying their testimony. Well, here we go. So I start looking at the photographs of the people 
that are doing the damn work. That, you know, these 200-pound women <laughs> that are 18 months pregnant, hands and knees on the floor of the men's restroom. <laughs> now, there's a girl you're going to want to have sex with tonight. <laughs> so, anyway, I started to look. The kids were doing most of the work. And guess what color the workers were? <laughs> One Tongan. He was bearing his testimony. He didn't want to lay on the beach in a loincloth and watch all the girls run in their bikinis in Tonga. He wanted to come to America and put his head in a urinal. <laughs> He's bearing his testimony how much he has felt the spirit. <laughs> that ain't the spirit. That's ammonia. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's methane gas, my friend. Anyway. The other women, half of them were brown. They're Mexicans, they're Filipinos, they're from South America, they're coming out of uh, Europe. Uh, so all of the white men, the male upper echelon, the penis hood, priesthood, penis hood, they're telling all these poor bastards, go clean the toilets and Jesus will bless you. Well, Anyway, I saw all the brown people working for all the white people, as usual, and I saw all the white men bearing their testimony because they didn't want to get dirty. They didn't want to get a toilet brush. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to church in many years, but if the Relief Society president was in one of those pictures and she's down there scrubbing the toilet and she's doing the checklist under the rim both sides of the seat and she's doing that and I see her on Sunday morning and she wants to give me a hug I'm gonna say I don't want a hug I saw you in the bathroom <laughs> and then now this is crude and rude but this is what bipolar people see so the young men they go, hey, hey, I'll clean the restrooms, no problem. So they get two or three of their friends and they go in and they get the, the tampons used and the Kotex used and the empty can and they're dumping it out and one's going, oh, there's Becky, oh, there's Mary, there's Sandy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just seeing a cluster screw. We used to call it something else in construction. Now, Anyway, if you want to see it, go look on uh, Return or Recovering Mormonism, or just look it up. It's on Church Stationery. It's a pamphlet you can bring up. I brought up all of the papers that you're supposed to check, and the, the doorknobs and everything you're supposed to clean, and uh, how you clean them, and bring your children. <laughs> and I guess you bring babies. Uh, to me, putting a baby down on a bathroom floor is gross to me. I would not put a baby on a bathroom floor. Anyway, uh, I used to sing when I was in the primary, Jesus wants me for a sunbeam, a sunbeam to shine for him. In every way try to please him at home, at school, at play, and now at church, clean his restrooms. <laughs> when I was in the 80s in the church, there was a, David O. McKay said, because they weren't getting very many missionaries, uh, conversions and he said well every member is a missionary said, oh, well, okay so the members were supposed to find the people and then the missionaries all they had to do was teach him <laughs> well shit that went over like a turd in a punch bowl it didn't work it didn't work and so now it's every member a missionary or, or every member a janitor some of these upper echelon people, now you know I'm down here in Australia and it's hot down here and people smell bad when they're <laughs> on the restroom floors. But up there in Utah, you get some of those uh, you know, upper people in those million dollar houses and you say, Mrs. or Sister Jefferson, we'd like you to clean the men's restroom this Saturday. <laughs> She's going to say, I'm going to Europe. I'll be in Italy. I can't do it this weekend. Call me again sometime. What? When am I going to stop? <laughs> I'm hearing a Filipino ghost behind me, folks. When am I going to stop? <laughs> the little ghost always says to me, Would you talk? I want to sleep. So when I talk, she just goes to sleep. That's why I do videos, because some of you actually will listen to me. Alright, so I am going to end the toilet interview and um, 
God, there was one more thing I wanted to say, but as usual, I'm interrupted, and I can't remember shit. So thank you, lady, that sent in uh, the donation. I took it over. If any of you want to continue to donate to the kids over there, please send in your 5 10 20 bucks, whatever it is. I'll account for it. I'll put the receipts up. Uh, we're right now in our second round. Uh, it flooded in the Philippines, and my men on the ground couldn't even get out of their house. And uh, half of it went to the orphanage, again, this uh, uh, pay period, and half of it uh, went into the uh, squatters camp, which is the poor of the poor of the Philippines. So I'm proud to have, you know, my action. I put my five, ten bucks in here and there. And Abigail, she puts money in, too. So anyway, um, it, it, if you're, you're taking the missionary lessons, make sure you ask your missionaries, do you have to be a janitor? Is that Jesus' revelation? And they're going to go, yep, you do. And you have to bring your own toilet brush. And you have to bring your own broom. The church doesn't provide any of that. The church will provide you with the cleaning agents. But you have to bring your own equipment. And they have a special... Um, closet for you to put your crap in and you know everybody else is using your crap it's community crap time <laughs> so everybody goes in and they clean the chapel so if you have small children you teach them to follow the prophet and get their ass in and clean the damn toilets thanks